Good morning, Reefers. I just had a quick question for some people. Um, and with a little discussion on mushrooms. Soft corals, in general, are kind of hard to glue after you frag them because they have a mucus coating and the glue doesn't really stick to the mucus coating. So here's an amazing, amazing jawbreaker mushroom and it's just floating around. And I'm actually kind of worried that I'm gonna lose it because it's just so beautiful. But, yeah, that thing is crazy. You can see the red and greens on it. Damn. Love it, love it. So anyway, so I was gonna say is, I wonder what you guys do when you're fragging those mushrooms and stuff. How do you deal with the mucus coating on your soft mushrooms? Now I know some of the leathers, I'll actually sew them with thread or I'll stick a stick through them and then glue it. But here's something that I have that I usually use for small fish when I'm putting them in the tank and acclimating them. It's a netted basket. Now, if you had like a little spigot of water dropping in here in your sump or something, you may be able to get some nice water flow through that. So I'm just curious how you guys think that basket will work with the mushrooms um, and what your opinions are on getting mushrooms. Now I know you can put some rubble down and you can wait for them to adhere, but a lot of times, you know, you, just, you don't have the time for them to adhere like that and they're blown around because your tank, you know, that's why you got to have a separate system for everything. Yeah, um, acros need their own system, mushrooms need their own system, anemones. It's just when you're fragging corals and stuff, it's a different, it's very different than than having a mixed reef. It's complicated. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to take that mushroom, put them in this basket, and then I'll put them in this system for now. So and we'll see what happens. But just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, a lot of people who, you know, mushrooms are pretty awesome. They're pretty big in the hobby. So a lot of people out there are huge into the mushrooms. So I'm sure some of you have actually probably some more experience than I do. So I'm curious. But like I said, Thanks for sharing, and as always, happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralus community.